R-A-M, R-A-M, it's the Ram Show V Day edition with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you'll like, comment, subscribe, and all that too. stuff too. All right. Yes. We're here today. I love you. To celebrate love. You know there's always tomfoolery around these uh, commercially ordained holidays. So, here we go. Valentine's Day, everybody knows, February the 14th. Oh, oh yes. Um, here's the thing. I have trouble with this all the time. It's Happy Valentine. That's an N, not an M. People are saying Happy Valentine's Day. How many times is Val gonna go into the day? I need to know. Valentine. How many times are we gonna Valen? I'm confused. Valentine's Day. Day. And when you type it out for your social media posts, please know that it's possessive. There's an apostrophe. Valentine's Day, not 100 Valentine's Day. That that doesn't make, there aren't multiple, but I don't wanna talk about it's it. It's okay. frustrating, okay? okay? Okay, so we're here to also just discuss several things that happen on Valentine's Day. First, starting with new couples. On Valentine's Day. New love. New love. We're here for it. And, you know, it's a new opportunity, new relationships. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Here's where it gets tricky. <laughs> You've been together about three weeks. Just so happen to get with them or her towards the end of January. And, and because it's Valentine's Day, which is a day of love, you take it upon yourself to... Post all types of lovey-dovey things on your social media. Fine. But you've been together three weeks and the post should not read as follows. Here celebrating V-Day with the love of my life. Just brought me all this candy and all these flowers and, and this is the love of my life. We're going to be together forever. What's his little name? You don't even know. Have you met his mom? <laughs> Ask yourself if it's the right time to be throwing all that out into the atmosphere. I think it's beautiful that you're happy in your new relationship. Celebrate Valentine's Day with your new boo. That's fabulous. But choose your language and your seriousness carefully, okay? Next, for new couples. Gifts get tricky. <laughs> now, let me explain why. No one's telling you to go out and buy all of Barney's and sex to give to your significant other. Let me just speak to the guys for a moment. I'm here to help you. You can't go too big too quick. First Valentine's Day, you get her a car. No. How do you match that if you're still together the next year? Are you gonna buy her an island? Oh yes. Do something sentimental. Have the, frame the ticket, no this is a good one. Mm. And all the children that are born off of this, you're welcome. Name them after me. <laughs> if you still have the ticket stuff from your first date, frame it and tell her that that's when you knew that you really liked her. So sweet. That's so sweet. You guys don't even think about that. You're too busy playing PS4. But something sentimental, write her a poem. You know, you don't have to spend all this extreme amount of money to make someone happy on Valentine's Day. It means so much more. Sentimental things. I don't know what guys think of, of some of us ladies. I don't know if y'all think that we're really materialistic. Maybe some, some, are. some are. But honestly, nothing could mean more. If you do give me an actual like physical gift, that's fine. In addition to the sentimental gift, oh my God. That's right. like, you win. You win. You will win. Definitely go for a sentiment over material. Right. If you really like this person and you're together the next year, you have to figure out, because you're going to keep building. It's like a Lego block. So you don't want to start with something so massive that you can't match it. Mm -hmm. And then that creates a challenge for your partner because they're going to be like, well, he got me this. What am I supposed to get him now? Because right. I don't know. Well, okay. Also, um... This applies to new couples, actually. When you think you're in a really serious, committed relationship, but Valentine's Day rolls around, and you don't hear from Boo. Cricket, 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 cricket. When you find out that you're not the main. You're being Mary Jane. <laughs> That's a tough time. And tough you, time. you gotta swallow that pride, swallow that pain, and keep on pushing. Buy yourself some flowers, take yourself out. You're obviously not his main person. Or God, that may happen to a guy too. You're obviously not her main person. And I'm sorry, sorry that you didn't hear from 
that person first. Ooh. You got ignored on Valentine's Day. Or they asked to take you out before because they had to do something else. Yikes. Listen to the signs. Walk away. <laughs> Run. Also, for the people who just went through a breakup right before Valentine's Day. Oh, Lord. I understand that you're still hurt. You know, it's painful. Trifling. It really is. Trifling. And the people who did it because they didn't want to buy anything and they get with you after Trifling. Valentine's Day. Just cheap. You try to reconcile on March 1st. You thought you let it breathe for a week in between. Oh, I'm going to just call her back uh, in March to see if we can. Not let it breathe. Trifling. You are scum. That is, it is one day. You don't even have to spend that much money. You could have got her some flowers cooked her dinner, and you would have been good to go. Trifling. You should be ashamed. Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry, I got upset. That's rare. It's okay, it you'll is. be fine. They have actually like parties now, they're like, you know, bring a picture of your ex, burn it, something like that, and they do a pinata. Wait, oh, I don't know. I don't agree with that. But I, I know they know, have like singles parties on yeah, that. Yeah, you know, I'm going for a singles party or a girlfriend's night out. Don't harbor ill feelings on Valentine's Day because you're seeing all couples around you kissing, loving. I, it can be rough. And don't, but also don't let that penetrate your spirit and be all in your feelings because all yeah. the stuff you see on social media, you don't know what people are going through in real life. That is one day. There are all types of things that could be going on. I'm not trying to be negative, but people could be getting abused. People could be getting cheated on and they decide to get treated right on that one day. And that's what they documented on social media. You don't know they that you want that. They only show you what they want you to see, dear. So y'all met. Ugh, I can't stand them. They still together and they should have broke up when I broke up my boyfriend. Girl, that evil spirit. Push, girl. Bye. Another thing for new couples. Talking to the guys. Listen very new relationship again let's say three weeks two two weeks maybe three dates you've been on valentine's day rolls around and you take her out it's great she pushes you a, a card and maybe you know a small token across the table dope you push her a card and a box across the table cool she opens the card so sweet opens the box what's in the box what is <laughs> this? Be too soon. Am I? Too soon. <laughs> you too soon. Two weeks. And you, you know what I'm holding up right now. <laughs> I dare you to pretend that you don't know what this is. Wait, it's be a little smaller. Oh, there it is. Is it edible? Maybe. <laughs> Drop it. Listen. You Sorry. tried it, you tried your luck, and you probably messed up. <laughs> like, that that will actually scare someone away. Like, is that all you want? Right. That's or, all I'm good for? That's all you know? I'm just... I can't. Flowers in a card would have been fine. Here's the thing. Here's what you're missing. Flowers in a card might get you what you're looking for. How about them apples? Just keeping it real. Was that too much? Um, and then there's also, again, don't allow social media to get all up in your head. A lot of big things like to happen around these holidays. Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's Day. So, and you know what it comes with? If you like it, then you should have put it on it. Oh. No? This rock. <laughs> My rock. Now you're going to see this across your timeline. I have it backwards, that's why. You're going to see this across your timeline. I said yes. He put a ring on it. Me and Bay marrying my best friend. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now, now let me just be clear. For those of you who are getting engaged on Valentine's, you know, cliche, but happy anniversary, Valentine's Day, Merry Christmas, Shame. all that. No, <laughs> well, let me let me clear that up, ladies. Don't go looking for this on Valentine's Day. Let me just be clear. True. Just just don't set yourself up. Don't pull a Taylor Swift at the Grammys. He pulls out the box and you thought you won. And you, oh my God, oh, okay. And then you had to bring yourself back to accept the lovely charm bracelet that he charm. bought you. Because you thought it was going to be the a anklet. rock, <laughs> my rock. <laughs> no, you got an anklet, okay? Don't go looking for it. And let it find you. Let it find he you. He that findeth the wife findeth the good thing. She didn't go looking. He found. Just biblical. That's Bible. That's Bible. So just be really careful about this here. 
we do hope that everyone, single and taken, uh, has a great, epic, beautiful, romantic Valentine's Day. Uh, even if you're single, I hope you have a romantic, beautiful Valentine's Day. Treat yourself. Shout out to my first Valentine. My parents, Aww. I'm wearing their charm that they got me as a heart and it has a picture in it. So shout out to my first Valentine. Shout out to my Valentine, Betty. I love you, girl. You my girl. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And share the love this Valentine's Day. Black velvet, oh yes. Black uh, velvet. <laughs> Black butterfly. Yes. Okay, listen. This is Bernard. We've been together about three months now. Say hey, Bernard. This is my brother's bear. So I don't know anything about Bernard over here. <laughs> he kissed Bernard, I thought it was a girl. Okay. Um, I didn't know! I didn't think about it. Okay, sorry. Hell is for the way you look at me. Oh yeah. You know what's my real Valentine? Food. Oh, ha. It's for the only one that you better see. I, see. I love food. And food love me. V is very, very extraordinary. Ah, ah, ah. Now E is even more than anyone that you adore and love. Yeah. Uh, 